Good morning, foodies. I hope you guys are hungry because I am here outside of Maxi's. It's in the Link Promenade at the very back by the High Roller. And they are known for some really interesting breakfast items. So let's go on in, we'll get a table and see what we want to eat. So I'm here inside of Maxi's, which is over at the Link Promenade by the High Roller. And they are like kind of a diner style restaurant. Super cool, super cute. Um, right now, anytime you come, expect probably about a 30 to 45 minute wait because they are really busy. However, their menu looks really good. They have some really interesting things on their breakfast menu. Uh, some of the things sounded really whimsical and fun, like cotton candy pancakes or fruity pebble French toast. Um, but I'm going with what they're famous for, which is actually their Eggs Benedict box. So I'm super excited to try that and I'll show you guys that when it comes. But the decor is really simple, nothing fancy, very casual, um, no tablecloths here. And they do have a lot of TVs posted around the walls. so. If you're looking to watch sports or, you know, the HGTV is on right now. So they have a couple different uh, things to just kind of watch while you're waiting for your food. Okay, guys, our food just got here. And I got the regular Benedict box, and it looks amazing. So it's toasted brioche. It's a toasted brioche box with poached eggs, hollandaise sauce, tomato, and some bacon. And there's spinach inside. So I'm super excited. Let's see how this, I'm not sure how you're supposed to really eat this, to be honest. Okay, let's break this open and give it a try. This Benedict is so good. And it's really fun and whimsical because it's like, it takes the classic Eggs Benedict and twists it. It elevates it, I should say. So instead of an English muffin, you are getting brioche bread that's made into a box. And then it's stuffed with tomato and sauteed spinach and then topped with two poached eggs, hollandaise sauce, and a couple pieces of bacon. I mean, how fun is that? And I love when they take classic items and make them kind of fun. It just makes the dining experience unique, which is always something that I look forward to, especially here in Vegas. And then I also got a side of um, breakfast potatoes because I need breakfast potatoes in my life every day, well, especially when I'm on vacation. But here's what the potatoes look like. I would highly recommend getting the breakfast potatoes. These are outstanding. And I'm a huge potato fan in general, so I'll eat potatoes who have boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you guys get that reference. But honestly, if you're gonna get potatoes, this is a good place to do it. I don't know if it's just because they're fun size, they're little square shapes and they're, you know, bite-sized, fried, crispy, golden perfection with good uber saltiness. I don't, they must use either sea, or, um, seasoned salt or Cajun salt. There's definitely seasoning on these that makes them delicious. But if you're gonna get a side of potatoes, this is a good place to do it. Okay, since we're on the topic of potatoes, I have a blonde joke for you. And I'm sorry to all the blondes out there. I honestly mean no true offense it's just a really funny joke that I remember from my childhood I don't know where I heard it I was young when I heard this joke and I just the first time I heard it I told it to my sister and we spent literally like 30 minutes laughing at this joke so you know what I thought I'd share it with you guys because why not so the joke goes there's three girls running from the police and they are a blonde, a brunette, and a redhead. They run into a barn 
and they see some potato sacks on the floor and decide, hey, that's a good hiding spot. So they each jump into a potato sack. The police follow them in there and they're searching around for the girls and they can't find them. So one policeman goes up to the potato sack and nudges it with his foot. And the redhead goes, meow, meow. And the policeman just says, oh, it's just a kitten. Walks away. Goes to the next potato sack and nudges it with his foot. And the brunette is in there and she goes, woof, woof. And the policeman says, oh, okay, that one's just a dog. So he walks over to the last potato sack where the blonde is hiding, nudges it with his foot, and the blonde goes, potato. <laughs> Guys, I know that's stupid, and I know that this, you're probably not even laughing at it, but I always think that joke is absolutely hilarious for some reason. I don't know why, I just find it really funny. <laughs> Hopefully someone found it funny. <laughs> Leave me, a comment and, uh, leave me a comment below and let me know if you guys actually laughed at it or not. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what Maxi's has to offer. I know that I sure loved eating here and I'll definitely be coming back. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my food adventures. That's it for today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.